What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, I know what you're thinking, where have I been? It's been like three weeks. And plain and simple, I have just been up to my nose in paperwork for the cult. As I said in my last video, I'm trying to get us to cult status, but uh, for now we are just in pre-cult status, which is basically that sweet little in-between area between not being a cult and being a cult. You would not believe the amount of paperwork it takes to form a cult, but I am determined to get us there. And arguably, pre-cult can be just as fun, if not funner, than actual cult. Because we aren't a thing at all, no rules. There is no end to the manipulation and the corruption that I can ensue on you people. And by that, I mean there is no end to how close we can be as a community. With all that being said, let's get into the video. Today, we're going to be looking at a channel that you have probably seen a lot of YouTubers talk about. I know I have. One of them being my good friend Jordan Tyler. Go check out his channel. We make pretty much the same content. And I know some of you guys out there watch both of us already. So if you guys don't, go check them out. This channel is called Troom Troom. Now, if you're thinking, that sounds stupid. Well, it is. It's basically a life hack slash pranks tutorial entertainment channel that looks like it's made for kids, but I'm not sure. They are also massive. They have a measly 20 million subscribers. And the video we're going to be watching today is 18 ways to sneak pets into the movies. So as you can already see, they put out the type of content that nobody in the universe has ever asked for ever. Like ever. Let's just get right into it. Being a security guard at the movies is a very tiring job especially when the moviegoers are animals. Now, if you're thinking to yourselves, God damn it, this voice is annoying. Well, you're in luck. And by in luck, I mean not at all, because this voice is a constant. It acts as both narrator and voiceover, so get used to it. Your ticket. What do you need a hat for? Yo, this hat is my lifestyle. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, fuck. That was hard to watch. I love how not only is there a club bouncer at this movie theater, but the fact that they're like, hey, asshole, why are you wearing that hat? And then her to just fucking bust into whatever the hell you want to call what her and the people behind her in line just did. Yo, this hat is my lifestyle. I said forget about it, cuz. Come out, cutie. It's your favorite part. We've all been there, right? Your magician hat looks suspicious. Would you be so kind as to take it off? Sure. Look, it's empty. So far, so good. She doesn't suspect a thing. Who knows what happens next? You're right. You can come in. What is the best place to hide a bunny? A magician hat. There you go, Fluffy. I told you you'd watch a new movie. Holy shit, that rabbit is half dead from inhaling the fumes of Garnier Fruities and Aquanet for the last 20 minutes. This is animal abuse. Honey, would you like more parsley? Put it here. What do you have there? Oh, vitamins for your pregnant wife. A few things to unpack there. <laughs> this woman did what any sane person would do when you see someone in line at a movie theater holding a piece of parsley. You walk over, take it out of their hand, eat it, and assume that she's pregnant. There is no way that any of those things could go wrong for anyone. Oh, you were expecting. Hi, cutie. Please come in. Honey, sit down. You must be tired. Come on, how can these adorable little babies make you tired? If I am sitting in a movie theater, which at this point, I cannot fathom the idea of doing that, and then the person next to me pulls out two little fucking baby ducks, I would be livid. <laughs> really, if you pull out any animal next to me in the theater, I'm already going to be feeling some type of way about that. But baby fucking ducks? My fluffies! It's impossible to leave these sweethearts home alone. Except for the fact that it is possible, because it is done all the time. This place is full of suspicious people. Let's check everything in here. Alright, so this life hack is to impersonate an FBI agent, which I'm not even going to unpack that. But we are also led to believe that a drug-sniffing dog is a French bulldog, which I don't know if you've ever been around a French bulldog, but those things are struggling for dear life every breath they take. They are not designed to be alive. <laughs> They're smushed faces. It takes so much energy for them to take just one goddamn breath. So that there is another crack in this hack. <laughs> I, di I didn't even plan it out. I just I just said it. We're conducting the scheduled security inspection. Go ahead, colleague. Colleague. That's like a SWAT team officer being stopped in the middle of a mall by a mall cop. And the mall cop being like, howdy, colleague. <laughs> another day, another dollar, right? These are our seats. Hey, you are blocking the view. Attention, everyone. 
Leave the theater now! This is an emergency drill! The final step to this immaculate plan, once you have already successfully impersonated a federal agent, you will then expertly evacuate the theater for a false emergency, which everyone already knows is a great idea and a really excellent way to clear out some fucking seats. Everybody out! Now we talking! Now we talking? <laughs> yeah, cuz! Whenever the narrator tries to use slang, it just reminds me of that game crazy training video. This is like a gamer's ride, dog. Do you want to become invisible? Act like a chameleon! Haha! <laughs> it works every time! Well, folks, this is what happens when you scrape the bottom of the barrel for outro music. You tend to get some Trum Trum cross-contamination. It's obvious that Trum Trum has become sentient and knows that I'm making fun of them and is now trying to prematurely end my video. Well, and it worked. Oh! What's in your hair? It's my stylish hair clip! Hmm... Well, come in! Settle in, Clifford! Just be quiet! Okay, I know that I said I would be livid if someone brought some fucking baby ducks into a movie theater, but if I look next to me and I see Buzz McAllister pull out a fucking tarantula, I will never see a movie again. Now, I'm not one of those people that just freak out when they see any spider. Most of the time, they're fucking harmless. But when they get big enough to where you cannot stop them with a piece of paper, they cease to become spiders and they then become animals. That is a fucking animal right there. A giant spider! Save yourself if you can! See, that is a much better way to clear out a theater, rather than trying to create a false emergency to cause panic. Even though I guess that causes panic too, I, I'm going to stop thinking this hard for a Trum Trum video. Good afternoon! We are here for our movie! Oh god no, please no. Here we are, buddy! We are just in time! Tip number 12! Pretend to be disabled. I mean, as shitty as it is, that's the first actual logical tactic to bring your fucking pet to a movie, even though nobody wants to do this. I mean, I say that, but then it looks like 207,000 people apparently want to, which that is a lot of people. Maybe I'm the weird one. Me and 48,000 people. We don't need this masquerade anymore. Whoa! Nice glasses! They also like to sprinkle those weird bits in throughout, like with the parsley joke earlier. All it needed to be was her dropping parsley down in for the fucking baby ducks, but then they added the fucking lady coming up to them. And then this too. They could have ended it at fake blind man and his dog. Which, as I now say that out loud and look at the 10 minute and 6 second runtime of this video, I now realize why they add in dumb filler shit so they can get that sweet, sweet mid-roll. Also, quick note, I keep forgetting to bring this up. If you've watched any of my past videos since I have now become monetized and noticed like seven mid-roll ads, I'm sorry. I don't know why the fuck YouTube thinks you guys would want to watch seven ads in a video. So I'm trying to go through all my videos now and fix that because God, fuck that. <laughs> Are these kittens? No animals at the movies. Fine. Abracadabra, we are going in. Hey! Don't you think this tip makes the rest of them a little bit redundant? If I can just cast a spell on someone and then just completely control their mind and make them let me anywhere I want to be, then I'm not going to order a fucking magician's hat online and put my rabbit in there. Nor will I impersonate an FBI agent or pretend I'm fucking blind. <laughs> Fuck are these sound effects too? Kittens, sit down. And go! Hi girls! Meow! Are these her friends that she turned into cats, or are they cats that are now people? There are too many layers to this. At this point, it's just sneaking your friends into the movies, not sneaking your pets into the movies. Because unless her and her friends have some kind of agreement that I'm not going to get into, they're not pets. Your ticket! I don't have a ticket, but I have a kitten. What a cutie. He wants to watch this movie. Go, kitten. You can't come inside without a ticket. Okay, lady, just pick a side. Are animals allowed in this theater or not? Because you just let this fucking animal go in there unattended. Damn it, there I, there I go thinking too much again. Our tickets. Go ahead. What a romantic moment! When you are with me, there are butterflies flying everywhere! This is how much I love you! I'm not even gonna make a joke about that, that was just stupid. It had no place in that, and I can only assume it's just a part of the 10 minute space filler shit. Sit still! We are going in! I only have popcorn with me! 
them in. They have to be writing this shit satirically. There's no fucking way they're not. I only have popcorn with me. Nothing else. This just sounds like Mark Zuckerberg going about his average daily life. Hello, here's my ticket for the movie. And this is my popcorn. It's all I've got on me. Hello, can I have some popcorn? Oh, here you go. Matilda, the movie is about to begin. Pay attention. And then here we have Emma Langevin getting way too fucking comfortable with his popcorn. If I was in a movie theater and... S well, actually, if, if Emma Langevin wanted my popcorn, she could have the fucking bucket. As well as anything else my AMC Rewards can buy her. I have plenty. But if anyone else did that, I would be fucking livid. About as livid as I would with the fucking ducks and the tarantula. What a cutie! Have some popcorn, baby! Mini popcorn for a mini viewer! This guy has been waiting years to use his comically mini popcorn bag. Yeah, sure, honey, you can walk out on me now. But let me tell you one fucking thing. This... This is hilarious. This is really funny. And it might be useful to someone one day. Maybe even today. Now that I think about it, I'm going to the movies now. There better be a fucking guinea pig at that movie theater. Here's my ticket! Go ahead! Come out, my friend from Madagascar! You'll like this movie! It's about a jungle! Oh! What a cute bug! And it's so nice to the touch! Said no one ever! They just keep one-upping every animal I would not want to have in a theater with me. You know that popular saying, Oh cool, roaches! You don't? That's right, because that's never been said before! I'm the first person to say that, congratulations! Hello! Is this pest control? There's a giant cockroach here! Come right now! Where's the cockroach? That is impressive response time. Gonna go out on a limb here and say this is not the most clean theater, given that they have their own on-site pest control. Come on, he won't hurt anyone. Look how cute he is. Well, it's not actually that terrible. Absolutely no one's opinion of a cockroach has ever been swayed by having one put directly in front of their face. Watch the movie instead. I love that. Don't take my friend. Watch the movie instead. Was that another rhyme out of nowhere? <laughs> I, I, sw I swear to God, I'm not even, I'm not even planning this. I'm never just saying it. Come in, ladies first. Please, only after you. Please, miss, you can have my spot in line. Milady, progress down yonder. It's too wet in here. Thank goodness I have an umbrella. I hope to God I'm never sitting in a movie theater and I think to myself, that's too wet in here. <laughs> My ticket is in the pocket. Hang on, is that a burger? With a turtle? You can't bring your own food. No exceptions. So she just doesn't get in? They're gonna end the video off with a failed hack? Come on now. Did you like our life hacks for pets at the movies? Not really, no. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not sure why I've never done a Trim Trim video. I just think I'd lump all those kid channels in and just don't even want to touch them because they're fucking weird. But honestly, I have not had this much fun watching and making jokes about a video in a while, so maybe I will do more of these in the future. Do not fucking hold me to that. I'm done <laughs> fucking officially having series. No reason though. No reason. Anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like rating down below. Leave a comment if you have any thoughts, ideas, opinions, or if you're new here and you like my content, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so that you can stay up to date on all of my content and really anything else I do on here, whether it be community posts, live streams. Also, go follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're on either of those. I try to frequently do things on both. Anyways, guys, thank you again for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.